What's happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back with part 17 of our Bioshock Infinite walkthrough. So, uh, after we took down Lady Comstock, I actually took a break, and, uh, turns out there wasn't an autosave right after killing her, so I had to just redo the fight a second ago, but as you can see, it ended, uh, quite a bit better based on the salt and health that I still have. But if you're having trouble with that particular fight, um, I tested out a couple things on the second playthrough when I just tried to kill her. Well, not playthrough, but second attempt that I was forced to do. And uh, a couple things I found out based on the attempt in part 16. At the end, one great thing to do is if you can get her grouped up with all of her little buddies. Basically by having, um, where is it at? Overkill. If you have on overkill... Basically, when she's grouped up, you know, you start spraying the shotgun or uh, the chain gun that's up there. And as you're killing the little guys, that stun will affect her. So you can just keep just railing bullets into her and all the undead that she keeps summoning. But aside from that, uh, make sure to kill the one guy that comes up with the RPG and should make the fight significantly easier. If you're going to end up using like a carbine or a hand cannon, the one thing I'd recommend is every shot you take on her, Make sure to, to scope in so it auto scopes and you can get that quick critical. So like, like that. Just keep scoping when you, every time you shoot, and the criticals will take you down a lot faster. But obviously, second time around it was a bit easier since I knew how to uh, how to take her out. But with that being said, let's uh, let's get this show on the road, right? So health kit and. Uh, Gotta follow her wherever she went. And I don't see any ghostly footsteps anymore. Maybe I'm supposed to like just haul ass after her and be like, "Yo, wait up, bitch! I need you." It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she two. doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Oh well. Sarcastic. All right, so There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I noticed. I guess we're gonna no, go find three tears. She, she doesn't belong here. I brought something, though. I'm just I'm not so sure it was her. Well, I guess we're gonna follow these ghost footsteps around and. Do they keep going? Seems like they just kind of end right there. Is there, is there a tear here that I'm missing? Maybe yeah, I was just supposed to keep running this way, and they would have popped up. Hmm. Well, I remember there were tears in here earlier. Oh, no tears in here now. Where are we going, Elizabeth? Just, Elizabeth is just kind of running, so I'm assuming she has an idea of what's going on. Nope, oh, nope, no, you're done leading the way. I guess you're just kind of wandering. Show yourself. Oh, what the? I'm not ready. Come on, I got time for you guys. I've put you guys before already. Calls me that ammo. Perfect timing. Another thing, while you're fighting her, even though uh, Murder of Crows doesn't affect her, using it to uh, just basically stun up all of the undead guys while you just drill her full of damage is an excellent strategy. An extremely effective way to, to make the fight go a lot smoother. Elizabeth here. Okay. Open it on up, Elizabeth. Let's see what's behind door number one. Ready. Hmm. Laboratory Lutesi. Guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I'll take the salts. Go upstairs first to see if there's anything up here. 
And they got all kinds of crazy gadgets all over this place. Look at this thing. Oh, an infusion. Love my infusions. This nice. actually looks like something that I could power with Shock Jockey. Oh, nope, guess, guess not. Like that. Tooth photograph shop and bank. Oh, well, that explains why, uh, I remember being at the bank earlier, and I was like, this just seems like there should be more to it than this. Well, that kind of explains it. So let's finish the lab, and then we'll make our way on over to the next location. It's a tear. It looks like There's a created tear. I don't know. Probably should. Comstock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. Well, that's a little You are! That's my father. Julia, madam, my sexual interest in your deep prostate is non-existent. Whatever Comstock did to her. Hmm. So if what Comstock did you mean was before when you said sterile. Lady Comstock didn't belong here? It's like she's a reflection of. Um. I don't know. Let's go this way. Alright, so we had to go to there, the photography shop, and the bank. Do it! Take your time! I'm fine down here! What's the point of grabbing these two hooks? I see nothing like of significance up here. Alright, so Comstock was sterile. That's an interesting little tidbit of information. Thanks for the salts, buddy. And Lady Comstock thinks that... Oh. That doesn't sound very fun. Oh, what's up? Did I catch and throw it back at you, buddy? Catch. Great. Oh. We're gonna close. Ooh, we got back just in time. Oh, there's one of my bombs of all the uh, absorbed stuff I caught. But nice to actually chuck that at him. Can you unlock this? I can do that. Yeah, of course you can. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to progress the story go. now, would we? Find lots of salts. That's always good. Okay, here's the bank. Whoa. whoa! Whoa, 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 That's right, you guys don't. You're immune to murder of crows. Nope! Don't kill me. There! That one! Yeah, stand in the water puddle so I can just drill your face full of bullets. Ah, uh, more guys. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. God, I gotta get the hell out of here. 
Okay. Woo. I love how you can just like jump on the skylines and you're like, peace, bitch. Is there a gun automaton here? Yes, there is. Open it. Let's call him in. Oh, super bitch slap. Who else wants some of this? What, what are you trying to do? You're not going to hit me. I'm out. Let's reverse it. Take another uh, swoop back around and visit our friend up top here. Boom. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm probably dead here. Yep. Damn it. Died to a fall. But she can bring me back. You got me, Elizabeth. Save me. Where am I? Okay, I remember this little starting spot. This is, uh, when, like, you first had the, the fight at this area. This is where it all went down. All right, let's get back up. We're going to take out that fireman first, and then, uh, take care of the other guys after that. Wherever he is at. He's here somewhere. Should be, at least. I don't see him, though. Oh, come on. Stop moving. Stand still. There we go. Nope. Nope. Okay. So I'm like, I'm not dying to you sprinting at me and exploding. Screw that. And I guess we killed uh, the crow people. Into the bank we go. Yeah, what could this place have to do with your mother? Whoa! What is going on? Remember this was closed before. I guess we're hitting the elevator, seeing where it goes. Love how Elizabeth just like occasionally yawns, like, hmm. Like, are you are you bored right now? running around, people are dying everywhere, and, and you're just bored? Okay, freight hook, don't see anything else I can pull in, so... Open it! Um... Put back on crows. Shoot at me. Someone, someone's doing some real damage to me. Get around him. Go. Come on, down you go. Should probably find a shotgun again, because crows and shotgun worked out to be an awesome combination. Ow, who the What the Come on, get off of me. Where'd that carbine go? No, I wanted to Ah, alright, I'll keep using this I guess. Oh, ooh, there's a shotgun that I was just thinking about one. I was like, where can I find a shotgun around here? And voila, there's one. Go back, buddy. Boom! Boom! Oh, I'm out of ammo? Come on. He's having so much fun blowing through people with the shoddy. 
Uh, there's gotta be some shotgun ammo around here. Lots of silver eagles. Honestly, I just need to combat. Can't lie. I just need to. You know what? Yeah. I'm just gonna kill these people, and then I'll I'll deal with rummaging through all the stuff because. Throw punch! Alright, there we go. <laughs> now that they're taken care of, let's look through all the goodies. Take those. Uh -uh -uh. Search the desk. Nothing else here, okay. The next room requires one Can pick. You open this, Elizabeth? How convenient. We just happen to have one pick. Don't need RPG ammo. Yours. What's inside the safe? 139 silver eagles. Sounds good to me. Mm, keep this. Hang on to the shotgun at least until we're done the uh, street sweeper achievement. Alright. Let's check over here for goodies. Got a file. What else? What else is back here? Don't really care for a heater. Here's some cash. I love some cash. Hellfire ammo. Don't really use that gun, but I mean, I'll take ammo. You never know. In the heat of the moment, only thing laying around might be a hellfire, and then that's that's what I'm gonna be like, man. I'm so glad I picked up that ammo. Anything in the deposit boxes? Nope. Alright. Before we are on our way, let's run by uh, this real quick. Oh, never mind. It's just the dollar bill one. Thought there was actually something good in it. Let's look at these center desks real quick. Anything? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What was that X for? Oh, just a pistol. Those go into the vault. What's over here? Love exploring for goodies and treasure. Three lock picks. That is always welcome. like a whole new area. And what is this? Yeah, I understand that. Oh, damn, that's pretty cool. Three more picks. I'm actually finding, like, a ton of stuff that, like, boosts melee. So I think on uh, my second playthrough, I might do, like, some, some hardcore melee action. I mean, just to get an idea, right now alone, we got this one. Okay, so we got 70% chance to, like, light them on fire when we melee them. And that's just in the hat category. And then for shirts, we got the... There we go. When struck, 50% chance for enemies to light on fire. Or if we want to get a little more brutal, we got Executioner. Which, probably for melee, Executioner would be the safe bet. Or Coat of Arms, even. Then we got Vampire's Embrace. And then in the pants, we got, uh... Probably Urgent Care. Either that or, uh... Angry Stompers. They could both be really good. I mean, I like the, the setup I'm running now. Damn. Killed by a light. That sucks. I mean, running up and meleeing in a game like this isn't really my thing. Honestly, I don't really see it being. What's that? Fifty percent of everything people earn here goes right to Comstock as a tithe. I gotta get me a job in the profit business. Jesus, that's a lot of uh, it's a lot of money he's pulling in. Yeah, but honestly, I don't really see a, a melee style of play being all that viable for hard. I mean, as you guys can see. I usually blow through playthroughs on the hardest difficulty with little to no trouble and minimal deaths, and 
Well, this game is a completely different ballpark. This game's like, oh, you want to play on hard? Don't worry, we'll make sure you die. Anything else to find? Nope. Why is this hallway even here if there's nothing in it? Alright, either way, I think we've scavenged all the potential goodies. Let's follow the ghost footsteps down to the vault. Oh, is that a crow man? Probably a crow man up ahead. There's a crow man. Gotta get that shock jockey. I need something to stun him up while I blast him in the face, right? Where did you go? The hell? Oh, I thought he was ready to fight. He just called me an intruder and then dipped out. What a little bitch. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. Oh. Smoke him out. Come fight me. You guys want some of this? Boom! Boom! No! I'm not dead yet! No! Oh, come on! Damn it, there was one more! There was one more! Oh, I thought I had them all. I was going all vanguard in that shit. I was like, boom, with a shoddy! Hit this guy with a shoddy again! And they were just like, nah, man, just stop. And then I was like, oh, And I got all sad. Definitely have to do a second playthrough, more of just like a run around, hit people in the face with shotgun and melee type deal. I think it'll be fun. Alright. Where are you bitches at? I'm finding all kinds of lockpicks all of a sudden. What the hell just hit me? Oh god, snipers. You little bitches. Yeah, you like playing sni sniper rifles? I like playing with shotguns to your mouth. Yeah, I mean, if this game had a multiplayer, it would be so crazy. Just because the idea of, like, that one tryhard kid that's, like, trying to sit in, in like, quick scope and just being, like, electric and then running up and blowing his face off with a shotgun. It's just, it's so incredibly satisfying to think about that. That that thought alone makes me want multiplayer. I mean, it'd be pretty hard to employ, like, with all the vigors to actually, like, implement them properly in multiplayer without it being too broken. Like, I'd imagine people would probably just run Murder of Crows and shotguns and just dick ride all day. They'd be like, stun, dead. And then other kids would rage and it would get nerfed and... Oh well. Either way, we are making a ton of money all of a sudden. Oh yes. I mean, we're, we're in the bank, so it's not that surprising, but... Damn. I was like broke just a couple fights ago and now I'm up above a thousand again. And all these corpses are just loaded at that. There's the tear. Before we hit that up, let's uh oh. desk, search that. Searching every inch of this place. Ooh. Oh, nope. Oh, I didn't even get to see what that one was. What was it? Spectral sidekick, I think it said. There we go. Dropping a weapon creates a ghostly ally for a few seconds. Huh. I think we're going to actually, we're going to put that on, see how it works. I wonder if it's like I switch out my gun for a new gun. Like, if I toss down my shotgun to pick up a rifle, the shotgun fights. Because that'd be pretty sweet. Especially because I'm just kind of like, 
switching through weapons. Like, as I run out of ammo, I just toss a weapon and pick up a new one. Sounds like Crowman's coming back to play. I know the tear's right there. Let's uh, look around here for a second. Ooh. Found a safe. Need some help with this. Let me see. Open it up. What goodies do we got inside the safe? There. Okay. 213. I'll take that. Was that something shiny? Box of phone hiding it behind the corner. And anything upstairs? Nope. Maybe something over on that side. Take a quick look. Yep. More goodies. Are always welcome. Oh, figure with that like safe all busted up that there was like something I could pull out of there. Alright, well the tear's still back there. We're just gonna keep on uh We're gonna keep exploring for a second. I mean I don't I don't think I even really need to say that. You guys know I'm gonna hit every little nook and cranny I can before I actually go to the objective. Uh, that tear was right there. Alright, this stuff looks like it's all picked clean. Let's check this room real fast. Uh, do, do, do. What's in here? Anything? Really? Nothing in this room? Not even like a cabinet I can loot? It's lackluster. There's usually at least like one thing that I can get stuff out of. Anyway, let's see what this next tear is all about. Oh, it's uh... Mr. Crow. Boom! With a shotty to the face. You should just stop trying to do whatever you're doing. Oh, that little bitch. Turned into crows. I feel like he was getting electrocuted and now he's not all of a sudden. Much obliged. Trying to figure out why. There we go. And he's dead. Shotguns. They take care of business. And if I do this, this uh, sabotage, all their patents? All of them, Mr. Fink. Now, why does the Prophet want these two killed? For the same reason Lady Comstock lies buried. Child. And why does he want me to do it? Because only you can make it seem an accident. I don't think that's the real Lady Comstock. I think she's... I think she's a combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just so angry at her and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also partly me. What the hell? I, I'm not even sure I understand it myself. Yeah, I'm not even sure I understand what the hell you're trying to say. Alright. Well, one more tear. Come on. Jump. Ah. Can't. Can't get up that damn thing. Pretty sure that's the way I came in, too. I have to be able to get up this. Up. 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 Damn it. Oh, well, the arrow says to go this way, so maybe I don't go up that. Oh no, 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 not this again. Oh, you bitch. Nope, 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 not what I wanted to do. Okay, gotta pull Murder of Crows back out. Nope, I did not pull it out. Yeah, I like that. Can I, can I have it, please? Throw it to me. Middle of a boss fight, I'm like, what? Money? Sure, let me grab that. Where did you go, ghost bitch? Oop. Here you go. That'll do. I was wondering when you were gonna throw that ammo to me. Alright, where you at, bitch? Oh. 
actually thinking that one perk about uh, looting corpses and how it makes you like temporarily immune, but that would actually be pretty damn awesome. Nope. We're gonna need to get all these crows. Okay. Now we're just gonna drill her face full of criticals. Man. Talk about some knockback damage, jeez. No, 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 not dead yet. Come on, shield. No, oh, come on. One guy in the back hits me while all the rest of them are getting hit by crows. Like, what are the chances? Uh, I'm gonna need something. I mean, what the hell? It's hitting me from behind already. Really? You guys are already on top of me in here? I mean, the shotgun is enough to, to kill her. Just not with seven shots. I need a lot more ammo than that. Ugh, come on. I guess those are like old crows. Where's she at? There she is. Come on. Jump through there. God, this bitch hits hard. Get my shield back, and then just drill her face full of bullets. Because that's always effective. Oh, Jesus. Here. Much obliged. All right. Bust my crows out. Got to get them all grouped up. Oh. Damn it! Don't have enough salts. It's like the worst time to need salts. Especially because she keeps just fucking raising all these corpses up. Get off of me! Ugh. Now I'll get my street sweeper in just a second here. Need something else. The shotgun isn't doing it anymore. Um, what else? Remember there was something in here. What was this? Carbine. I'm always a fan of the carbine. Let's see what it can do to her face. If she stops doing that. Jesus. Nope. Nope. Cover. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, look. Now my shotgun's fighting. That's, that's cool. There's not enough, like, guns around to make that perk worthwhile to, at this moment in time, though. Shield back. Tell you what, I thought it was just gonna be like a one time boss fight. The fact that I gotta fight this bitch again is pretty annoying. Yeah, no shit, I'm low on salts. I'd love to find more salts. Shield back. Actually, let me just put back on that perk, because this is... I mean, yeah, Spectral Sidekick is great. Um, but... That recharge delay was helping out way more. Especially at a time like this. Stop fucking raising the corpses. God, I 
need something. Like, I, I just can't. This is the problem right now. I can't, like, kill this bitch when I have... Oh, okay. That could work. Can I use this right now? Is this, is this loud? Okay. <sighs> what I really need is just another gun. Because, honestly, with the machine gun, it's good for getting crits on her, but it's not putting out enough damage. Ow. You bitch. <laughs> I need something. I need like an RPG. I need something that's gonna pack a punch to knock all of those little guys down. First gun, not really ideal, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Where's she going? Actually, we're gonna swing around see if there's. I mean, if there's a burst gun up here, maybe there's something else on the other side that we can use that'll help us out a bit more. Honestly, I'm not a fan of the burst gun, by any means. Sniper rifle? Uh, don't know how useful that'll be. If I can catch her when she's not molesting my face like that. So I just need to get her to go down below, try to raise a bunch of the dead, and then just catch her in the face with a couple of snipes. Because that's the ideal time to hit her. If you can hit her... Oh, Right when she's doing her, like, raising dead thing. She'll, like, stand still. She'll, she'll cast right there. That's what she wants. And they're all up there now. So I have, like, a giant crossfire going on. This is... These fucking ghosts. I mean, everything else, you know, the... No, that guy's dead. Like, the, the big, the, uh, not the big daddy, but, you know, the, uh... The guys that were, um, attacking me with the arms, the handymen. I mean, they're obnoxious. But, they're easy enough to beat. And then, you know, the firemen, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty annoying too, but just a little bit of kiting and they're not a problem. But this bitch, this bitch is on like a whole new level of just annoying the, the shit out of me. I can't even hit her while she's in there. Oh, man. I really got to figure out like an, an easy way to just take her out. Because it has to be like a like a really kind of jokey trick to it. Oh my god. Right when I have like a good opening to just drill her in the face, I gotta reload. Good timing on that. And... I feel like it's pointless to kill these guys one at a time anyway. Try to keep you stopped. Oh, jumping and running. Can I just get an RPG and just shoot her in the face and be done with her? annoying is she keeps raising back the same corpses. Like, why can't you just let those ones stay dead? But we're, we're actually going to try and... Since we already got a sniper rifle, we only got two shots. Where did she go? We have to... I don't know why I'm bothering. At least that stuns them all. Now I can toss these guys out. Thanks. Oh! Bitch! Stop blasting me away! Poor! Oh my god, she is so annoying! I don't want the burst gun, I want something with some fucking muscle to it. 
something that's not a sniper rifle. She's almost dead, at least. Like, even some salts would, would help. I and mean, I could just put up my shield. And... Where are you going to pop up at? Oh. There we go. Okay. Where is she at? Oh my god, she's so low. She's like one bullet from dying. And I got two shots. Alright, got one bullet. Where'd she at? Where are you at? Where are you at, ghost bitch? All I need is a clean shot on your face. Get off me, ghost. No, why do all these guys have to be on my ass? Can't even see her. Where is she at? Man? She just jumps all over the place. I'll keep my eyes open for more. God damn, I need something. I have no ammo. It's gotta be like, uh, no ammo, no vigor. Come on. Please, please, Elizabeth, just find some find some miracle ammo that's, like, hidden around somewhere. That would be so awesome right about now. Shitty burst gun. There she is. Die. Oh, God. Ugh. Fucking spirits are obnoxious. Every time. <sighs> Alright guys, well, that's it for part 17. Coming up next, we're going to find the final tear. Hopefully we don't got to fight any more of those just terrible ghosts. That has to be like the most irritating enemy I've fought in every game I've played. It's just, just continually raising up more dead. I know there's got to be a trick to it. Like, you hit her with fire and she just sits there while you drill her face with bullets, but I haven't figured it out yet. You can bet your ass I'm gonna, though. Either way, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you guys over in the next part.